The Fenaflex coupling is one of the most versatile products on the market. However, successful operation depends upon following the installation instructions to the letter. Failure to adhere to these instructions can have catastrophic consequences. Make sure the correct components are available and the relevant tools required are ready before attempting assembly. Check the taper lock bush bores or bored and keyed flanges match the diameter of the corresponding prime mover and driven machine shafts. All mating surfaces of the assembly taper bores in flanges and taper lock bush bores should be cleaned to remove any debris that might impede accurate and effective assembly. A lint-free cloth is usually sufficient. Before placing the flanges onto the relevant shafts, loosely place the bush into the taper lock bore, taking care to align the half holes correctly. Specific details of the procedure can be viewed on the Fenner taper lock bush installation video. Remove the clamping rings from the flanges when installing couplings size F70 and above, taking care to ensure the clamping ring screws do not get lost. When installing coupling sizes 40, 50 and 60, unscrew the internal clamping flange screws until there is only two or three pitches of thread engaged. Place the loose clamping rings onto the prime mover and driven machine shaft before locating the coupling flanges. Once the clamping rings and flanges are in place, tighten the fixing screws to the required torque, detailed in the separate instructions supplied with each bush. Bring the shafts into line until dimension M is obtained and if shaft end float is to occur, locate the shafts at mid position of the end float when checking dimension M. The shaft ends may project beyond the faces of the installed flanges but take care to ensure you allow sufficient space between the shaft ends to accommodate end float and misalignment. Lay a straight edge across the flanges at several positions around the circumference to check parallel alignment. Check the angular alignment by measuring the gap between the flanges at different positions around the circumference. Open out the tyre and place over the coupling flanges, taking great care to ensure the tyre beads seat properly on the flanges. To ensure the tyre seats properly, it may be necessary to manipulate the tyre manually until the gap between the tyre ends is no larger than shown in Table 2 on the installation instructions leaflet. This may mean using a rubber mallet on larger sizes. Replace the clamping rings onto the flanges and over the tyre bead, then finger tighten the clamping ring screws to secure the tyre. Using a hexagon key or spanner and torque wrench, tighten the clamping ring screws alternatively and evenly, half a turn at a time, until the correct screw torque detailed in Table 1 of the installation instructions is achieved. Take care and note that once assembled there should not be any metal-to-metal -metal contact between the coupling flange and clamping ring. If possible, once installed it is desirable to run the coupling under load for a short period and then recheck the clamping screw torque and restore to the correct value if required. Thank you for taking the time to view this Fenner installation video.